Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I got some uh, really cool knives out here on the uh, on the board, but the one we're going to be talking about, as you saw in the title, is this uh, Kubi. And the reason why I have these other ones on the board is because when I think about a certain task, which is uh, breaking down uh, cardboard boxes and opening cardboard boxes, uh, these couple of knives are the ones I grab. I like this old timer. It's a uh, variation of the electrician's knife that has a uh, hook bill. And when I, you know, go into tear on uh, cardboard and stuff, this does a really great job. Plus, you know, it's a Schrade, it's an old timer, it's not a very expensive knife. So one that's good for those kind of tasks. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave him out here. The other one is the uh, the Cold Steel Tough Light. This guy here is, if you really need to bust up a box, this guy is a beast. And I, I love this knife for that task. Uh, really great. We've seen this guy and that guy in some other reviews, but this one here, let's go ahead and well, I'll set you up here so you're a little bit nicer. This is a Kubi knife. And this is the first exposure I've had with Kubis, and I am very impressed. I mean, first off, look at that pocket clip. <laughs> and that is just super elegant and neat. I, I really like it. I like the backspacer on the back, how that looks. It's just really a very uh, well thought out and handsome knife. The pocket clip is not reversible uh, because there would have to be a, a hole up here. But look at the G10 how they did that uh, with the different cutouts and the way that the uh, different uh, layering of it is uh, is really neat. And I like how they did their uh, pivot as well. This is a uh, flipper design and look at that box cutter extreme. Uh, I love how it has this little ramp with uh, jimping. And as you can see on the uh, blade here, it is D2 steel. And this is the Kubi number 212 Anteater, which I totally see how it gets its name. Uh, has a stainless steel liner lock, as you see there. Uh, three and a half inch sandblasted D2 blade. Uh, overall length, when it's all the way folded out, is eight inches. And it's running about uh, just over four and a half inches in the closed position. It is running on ceramic ball bearings, and it comes in at 3.8 ounces. Uh, really super nice action on here. I mean, it, as you see, it just drops up against my thumbnail, and you can just uh, shake it shut. But, you know, very, very solid lockup, very good action. Like I said, this, uh, this thing is uh, just... A box cutting beast it's really a wonderful wonderful knife and I, I just enjoyed it uh, this came on loan to me from the uh, BPEX group and this is just a, a workhorse uh, it's really a kind of a different uh, blade shape you know because it's kind of a kind of a recurve uh, going on there but one that is definitely good it's got a flat grind going all the way up here till you get to your uh, swedge. And look at how thick that blade is. It's actually thicker out at the end than it is near the pivot. Uh, really good little chisel point there. This thing is, you know, pretty solid for what it is. And these guys are not uh, not all that expensive to, to get. Uh, Kubi is making some of the best uh, budget knives out there, really. Uh, Right now, it's, it's them and uh, Sivian, they seem to be uh, making, you know, some really good uh, budget options that are out there. So definitely uh, check those out. Uh, here's your uh, blade centering. It's a little bit off center, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me any. I mean, when it's got all these other attributes, I mean, this is just a solid, solid performer. And I really, like I said, I just love everything about this knife. I love the G10. I see you can get a good grip on here. I love how this uh, comes back at this point. You have a place, if you want to place your little finger down here, you can. 
Now you're right up against the uh, flipper. No problem as far as a uh, sharpening choil. You can see there that that's, uh, that's got a huge relief uh, for your sharpening needs. And being D2 steel, I mean, it's a, it's a de really decent uh, performing steel. I like D2. I think it's, uh, it's pretty cool. But this is uh, definitely, definitely a very cool little knife. I think that uh, you guys might enjoy it if you have experience with Kubi knives. The only other person I see that talks about Kubi on a regular basis is uh, Jersey Knife Guy. And uh, Pete's got some really cool models of the uh, Kubi knives. So I was excited to get my hands on one and to, and to try them out. They were actually uh, very cool to uh, mess with. And I say they because uh, there will be another uh, review of another uh, Kubi knife that we'll be looking for uh, or that I'll be reviewing. So keep your eye out for that one. So that's about it for this one, guys. I thank you for everything. We just had our uh, 888 giveaway. And uh, so that's all, that's all finished. Our next one will be at 999. So we're knocking on the door. Uh, as of today, I think I'm right at 900 subs. So we just have to get uh, 99 more subscriptions and, uh, and then we're right there at that thousand mark. And then let's, uh, let's go ahead and get over that. We'll start uh, having a lot more fun uh, at a thousand. I'm gonna start, uh, I'll see about doing some lives. I may test that out here in the upcoming weeks. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. I mean, there's so many right now. I don't think I would do any kind of a, uh, a weekly uh, show or something like that because uh, there's just so many. So I'd have to come up with, uh, with certain things, but you know, also I'll have to see what, uh, what time zone or what time to, uh, you know, do stuff so that, you know, the most of you guys get to participate in the live. You know, so I may have to do it on a uh, on Saturdays or Sundays when uh, the time zones align because I know I have a lot of uh, European viewers and I want you guys to be able to participate as well. So, anyways, that's all I have for this one. This is the uh, Kubi Ant Eater. If you have any Kubi knives, uh, let me know. Let me know what you like to break down cardboard with, and we'll have that uh, that discussion in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.